Welcome back. A young Kansas City boy had to give up the thing that he loved most after a life altering diagnosis three years ago. This weekend, his family walked in his honor as they try to get more research on his condition. Fox 4 Shannon Russo has that story. He may have looked like a performer, but 12 year old Brennan Goody was all about sports. He aspired to be a professional soccer player or a football player. He also really loved Mahomes. His mom, Jackie, describing him as high energy, fun, and very empathetic. Anytime we like drove by like a homeless guy, he'd want us to give him money or get him food. This bug bite landed him in the hospital. Doctors thought the bruising looked odd and referred him to a specialist. Genetic testing revealed a gene mutation and a diagnosis of vascular Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. VEDS for short. Because it's so rare, he wasn't diagnosed until 2021 at the age of 10. The disorder essentially makes one's body fragile and susceptible to injury, making it easy for organs and blood vessels to rupture. And that led to a lot of ER visits. Stitches here and here and I think he had glue here. That made things incredibly difficult for a kid who loved soccer and football. His parents ultimately stopped Brennan from playing contact sports, but things took a turn for the worst just a week after he turned 12. He was actually homesick with strep and started complaining of a stomach ache. That stomach ache, doctors learned, was his descending aorta rupturing. They did everything they could. They worked really hard. There was a whole team of people flying in and out, bringing blood and trying to, um, trying to repair it, but, um, his vessels were too friable, so every time they would start to repair it, it would basically fall apart. Brennan died on June 13th of 2023. More than a year later, on an unusually warm Saturday in October, nearly 100 people met for the first ever Brennan's VEDS walk. Together, they raised $3,000 for VEDS research, which will go to Texas Children's Hospital in Houston, where a doctor is doing research on the condition. Oh my gosh, <laughs> if he could have seen it. Wendy Mahan got emotional when she saw just how many people showed up for her grandson. He just didn't think of himself. So for people to do this for him in his honor was just, I don't know, it was just my heart was so welled up all the time. She suffers from the same genetic condition that took Brennan's life. The hope is for this fundraising walk to become an annual event and maybe even lead to a cure. It's a horrible, horrible condition. And to know that it's going to go help maybe somebody not lose their child. I just, it's amazing. After all, that's what her grandson would have wanted. In Kansas City, I'm Shannon Russo, Fox 4 News.